Good day everyone! Last time we learned how to find the simple interest by the use of our formula I is equals to P R T This day, we are going to learn what will be our formula if the principal amount is missing if the rate is missing and the time is missing. What will be the formula that we're going to use? I have here a simple interest pyramid formula wherein if P is missing and R is missing and T is missing, we can look for the formula. If P is missing or the principal amount is missing, the formula that we're going to use is P is equals to I over R T. P is equals to I over R T. Wherein principal amount is equals to interest over rate times time. And if R is missing, the formula that we're going to use is R is equals to I over P T. I over P T. Always remember that if we're looking for the rate of interest, we're going to multiply the final answer for rate into 100 because we are looking for the percentage. If and T then, is missing, the formula that we're going to use is T is equals to I over P R. I over P R. Let's have an example. Let's say, to buy the school supplies for the coming school year, you get a summer job at a resort. Suppose you save 4,200 pesos of your salary and deposited it into an account that earns simple interest. So, 4,200 is our principal amount. And, after 9 months, 9 months is our time. Always remember, that if our given time is in months, we were going to divide it into 12. Because in every year, there is 12 months. So this is 0.75. And 4,263 is the remaining balance. 4,263 is the remaining balance after 9 months. So, 4,263 minus 4,200 is our interest which is 63 so the missing value is the rate so the missing value is rate now let's find the rate the formula for finding the rate is rate is equals to i over p t times 100 now let's substitute the given value R is equals to 63 over P which is 4,200 multiplied to T which is 0 0.75. Now, let's compute first the value below 63. 4,200 times 0.75 is 3,150. So, 63 divided by 3,150 is 0 0.02. Don't forget to multiply it into 100 because we're looking for the percentage. So, the rate is 0 0.02 times 100 is 2 now, our rate is 2%. Let's have another example. How about if our missing value is our time? Let's have this example. If 10,000 pesos is invested, 10,000 is our principal amount which is invested at 4.5 simple interest rate, 4.5% is our, uh, it's our interest rate, 
which is in decimal form 0.045. How long will it take to grow to 11,800? So our missing value is our time and our interest is 11,800 minus the original amount is equals to 1,800 pesos is our interest. Now, let's try to solve it by finding the time. The formula for finding the time is T is equals to I over P R. Now, let's try to solve it by substituting the value. T is equals to I which is 1,800 pesos over P 10,000 pesos multiply to R which is 0 0.045 let's try to solve first the given value below 10,000 pesos multiply to 0 0.045 is 450 so 1,800 pesos divided by 450 is equals to 4 so our time is for years. Now let's have another example. How about if our principal amount is missing? Let's have this example. If money invested is at 5% simple interest rate at 5 years and earned interest 5,500, what will be our principal amount? In our formula, the formula for finding principal amount is I over RT. Now, let's substitute the given value. P is equals to I, which is 5,500 pesos, over R, which is 5%, and in decimal form is 0 0.05. Multiply to the time, which is 5 years, Let's solve first the given value below. 0 0.05 times 5 is 0 0.25. So, 5,500 divided by 0 0.25 is 22,000 pesos. Now, our principal amount after investing his money for 5 years at 5% is 22,000 pesos. If you learned something from this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless.